Hello, Anayansi. Hello, teacher. Ay. Le mandé el primer audio que vamos a ocupar esta noche. ¿El de ayer? Le mandé primero el de ayer y luego le acabo de mandar otro, que es el primero que vamos a hacer hoy. Ah, es que estaba escuchando el que me mandó, el que fue de ayer. Uh -huh. Sí, ese lo puede hacer con tiempo, pero el segundo que le mandé, ese es el de esta noche. Es para ahora, ok. Entonces lo voy a empezar a escuchar. <risa> yeah, that's okay, that's okay. You know, that's the idea, that's the idea. Hello, Flor. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say you, you can say I think so. I think so. Eso creo, verdad? I think so. I think so. Vamos a mandarle al al chat esa palabra. Este yo yo creo, verdad? I think so. Think de pensar, pero luego so. Bueno. I think so. Good evening, Dolores. Good evening. Yes, Thursday, right? So, two more days. Oh, sí. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Let's start with this, and here we go. Okay, so this is the last thing uh, we completed yesterday. Remember, job profiles. Al final de este módulo, el objetivo es que usted tenga un job profile, igual que estas personas. Es decir, que usted va a presentar su información. You will talk about yourself. You will introduce other people. Va a presentar a otras personas. You will talk about your job. Hablar acerca de su trabajo, like where you work, donde trabaja, what you do, and uh, if you like it or not, verdad, si le gusta o what you like. You can say positive and negative things about your job. De eso se trata, ¿verdad? Entonces, es como que vamos a hacer un perfil de su trabajo. And that's the idea, okay? That is, uh, I would say, our target. Ese es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Es la meta. All right. So, um, 
let's see who else we have in the house right now. Mr. Caesar, and then I have uh, Mr. Raul. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so no no church around you or, or around your house Raul no brothers and sisters you know so no today uh, not today right <laughs> yeah that's okay all right so hello Eduardo um you might be driving I don't know but be safe sir all right yes i'm recording okay so uh thursday uh, february 11th 2021 all right and let's see who somebody texted over here all right that's okay the word of the night is it's a phrase okay so it's actually a phrase Más que una palabra es una frase, right? And that's what we have. Okay. And the phrase is not a rocket sign or not rocket science. What does this mean? It means it's easy. It's not difficult. Okay. As you may think, no es tan, dif no es, no es tan difícil como uno piensa o pudiera pensar okay so i can tell you for example if you want to uh, cook something in the microwave okay in el microondas you just you know tell someone your brother your husband etc etc your wife just put it in the in the microwave it's not rocket science it's not complicated it's easy it's not rocket science all right Sometimes people use this phrase, you know, to, to, to cheer other people, you know, like, like a cheerleader, you know, to say, yeah, you can do it. Go ahead, please. Para darle ánimo. So that's how we use this, ¿verdad? Okay. Can somebody think of a phrase in Spanish? Uh, maybe that is close in meaning to that one. Alguien que me diga quizás alguna frase en español equivalente a not rocket science. Es que literal es, no es... Eh, un cohete, verdad, espacial o de ciencias. But in Spanish, it means some. It might be something else. But in English, the meaning is it's easy. All right, it's not rocket science. Okay, it's not rocket science. Alguien tal vez que pudiera pensar en un equivalente en en en, en about that phrase. Or maybe you can, no es gran cosa, exactly, no es gran cosa. It could be that one, right? Yes, it, it could be that one, yes. All right. O no es para tanto, ¿verdad? You usamos, say, el no tiene mayor ciencia, igual no lo usamos. Ajá, no tiene mayor ciencia, right? Yeah, you may, you may say that, correct. But we say it's not rocket science. Se escucha como que no es una roca de ciencia, ¿verdad? But you say rocket, okay? You say rocket. Yo creo que el significado de esto viene de cuando Estados Unidos estaba en esa competencia, ¿verdad? Con la, con Rusia, ¿verdad? To take the, uh, the first man, you know, in the moon or to the moon, right? A veces andamos en la luna, ¿verdad? But that's something else. <laughs> so that's totally different. So, uh, and on the other side, let me exemplify it in a, in a better way, all right? So I'm going to exemplify this a little bit more. I, I, pongámosle un mayor ejemplo, okay? Like Sputnik, yes, the first satellite, right? Like Yuri Gagarin, sir, correct? And then we go, um, the idiom, idiom es el caliche, ¿verdad? Esa frase, ese dicho, ¿verdad? It's the idiom, es un, una frase idiomática. So instead of saying, en lugar de decir, ah, this is easy, it's not complicated. You say, it's not rocket science. So no es, la gran, no es la gran cosa, ¿verdad? No tiene tanta ciencia. All right? 
It's not rocket science. It means it's not complicated. That means that now you have three phrases. Ya no se sabe solo una frase. Ahora, se, ahora puede decir, okay, this is easy. It's not complicated. Está por acá. Or you can say, uh, it's not rocket science. All right? It's not rocket science. But since it's an idiom, es como caliche o es un dicho, you have to be very careful uh, because that's informal language. I've shared it with you because maybe uh, you are going to uh, listen to this expression uh, in a casual conversation, ¿verdad? Mejor estar preparados because you're going to listen to this, okay? And it's a very common phrase that children and teenagers use. Okay, so uh, let's continue with the class. The first activity you're gonna be working on uh, this evening, it's a listening exercise, all right? And right now I have nine participants. And uh, let's do something over here. Uh, I will send the audio to you, but you gotta promise something to me. You're going to listen to the audio the second time, all right? The first time, I will play it for everyone, okay? So I will play the, the audio for everyone, all right? And then I will send the audio to the WhatsApp. In that case, you're going to listen to it, and then you can pause it, and then you take notes and everything, okay? So I have it ready here. So uh, I will send it after the first time you listen to this. And, and that's, we take it from there. So it says, listening, where do they work? Listen to Linda, Kyle, and Wendy talk about their jobs. Check the correct answers. We have Linda, Kyle, and Wendy. Where do they work? Vamos de izquierda a derecha, you know, from uh, left, from left to right. ¿verdad? Para que no nos equivoquemos, va from top to bottom. La información es, you're going to check if Linda works maybe in an office or if she works in a store, okay? And uh, if she is a receptionist or a doctor. So that's what you will do, okay? The first time you listen, well, just check it over there. Since you don't have this uh, like on paper, Write it down, please. Hagamos la lista. So let's do the list. Like one, two, three, Linda, Kyle, and Wendy. And then just a right office. And then doctor over there. Okay. If you cannot write more details, si no pueden escribir más detalles, that's okay. So there's no problem over there. All right. So, um, and then we take it from there. Okay. So right now, just focus on those two details. Let me know when you're ready, please. Nice, because I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, against the Russian, right? <laughs> Drago. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me look for it. All right. All right, so here we go. On the count of three, one, two, and three. Unit seven to eight, progress check. Page 57, exercise three, listening. Where do they work? Listen to Linda, Kyle, and Wendy talk about their jobs. Check the correct answers. 1. Where do you work, Linda? In a doctor's office. What do you do there? I'm the receptionist. I answer the phone and welcome people. How do you like your job? I love it. 2. Hey, Kyle. I hear you're not working at the hospital now. You're right. I have a new job in a school. Really? Are you teaching? No. I'm still a nurse, but now I'm a school nurse. 
Is it stressful? No, not really. Three. Hey, Wendy, where do you work? In a hotel. Oh, that's interesting. What do you do there? I'm a bellhop. I help guests with their bags. That's a lot of work. Do you like your job? I do. I have a great manager. All right. You know, that's an interesting listening, by the way. It's very interesting. The, the guy, es decir, el, el, el muchacho, he asks an extra question. And what's the third question he asks? I'm asking you, everyone. What's the tercera pregunta? What's the follow-up question that he asks? Did you get it? Captaron la última pregunta que les hacía en general, that he, he asks in general. Because we have two questions, right? We have two questions. So the first one is, where do they work? Okay, this is the first one, all right? And then he asks, he asks Linda, Kyle, and Wendy the same question, you know, what do they do? And then he asks a third question. Pero como yo les dije que no se enfocaran en lo demás, so you don't have to pay attention to me. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Yes, sir. Si les gusta. Exactly. So how, how, do, how do you like it, right? How do you like it? Okay. La, Wendy dijo, I have a grab. I have a great manager. Algo así dijo. Exactly, exactly. Yes, exactly. She's in love with the manager, maybe, right? You don't know. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, uh, as I promised, I'm sending the audio to you. Okay. Here we go. And uh, I'm looking for the chat. And there you go. All right. And now you have co complete control or total control of the audio right now. I'll be just texting. ¿Qué tal si les pongo good night? <laughs> Everybody's like, okay, bye bye. <laughs> All right. Ya me han dicho good night de entradita. Es como que, okay, bueno, ya no, no va a estar, ¿verdad? <laughs> All right, so good evening. There you go. That's the audio. I'll be quiet. Play it, but this time, take more notes. ¿Verdad? Todavía no lo escuchan, por favor. Just listen up. I'll write more details. So we know that Linda... Okay, voy a dar las respuestas, ya sea correct ones or incorrect ones, but just listen up. Please. Maybe Linda works in a, in a department store, okay? Or in a hospital, and she is... Let's see, a secretary, and uh, you gotta write what each person does specifically. Van a escribir lo que hace específicamente. If she is a doctor, she helps uh, sick people, all right? If uh, Kyle is a dentist, you know, he or she helps people with uh, problems in their teeth, que tienen problemas con los dientes, right? Etc. Etc. And so you get you ha, you have to write specific information. Okay. And uh, like for example, Raúl does the inventory of the merchandise, etc. Etc. And then that's the information that you're gonna look for over there. And last but not least, listen to the information why they like or why they don't like their jobs. Ok, entonces vamos a buscar. I'm sorry. Uh, you have to look for two pieces of information. Uh, why they like their jobs, por qué les gusta el trabajo, and what they do specifically. Ok, pero ustedes del play, ¿verdad? Hacieron un eslogan hace tiempo, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? De campaña. <laughs> I'm just kidding, all right? So, play it in your device.
So Claudia, uh, this is what we're doing right now. Okay, so just look at my screen. All right. All right, so now let's do something over here. I think you're working, but I need to tell you something. Okay, necesito decirles algo. In this activity, we will mix, we will combine, vamos a combinar, we will combine three skills, tres habilidades, three skills. Listening, writing, and speaking. Okay? Y para que a mí me quede permanente su respuesta, uh, Please choose one or two uh, names over here. Choose maybe Linda's information or Wendy's information. Va a elegir a dos, okay? And that's the, you know, those are the details that you will type or text to me on WhatsApp, okay? And let's do it, let's do it uh, privately. Just send it to me, please, privately, all right? In that way, you challenge yourself, you know, to, to actually know if the information is true or not. And I'll be checking the grammar. Yo le voy a apoyar con la gramática y la puntuación. Okay? Porque si la manda en el grupo general, eh, nos relajamos un poquito, ¿verdad? Y decimos, así ah, era cierto. ¿Verdad? You will have the chance. Van a tener ya la oportunidad, you know, of sharing the information, de compartir la información in the breaker rooms. Ya vamos a llegar ahí. Okay? We'll get there in a second. We will get there. Okay. So um, you finish already. Yes, everyone. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So right now I'll be uh, choosing uh, three of you, you know, to tell me just the, the information over here. So don't tell me details, please, because those are the details you will be sharing uh, in the break room. Solamente dígame, uh, Linda works in a store. She's a receptionist. Just like that. Y no es que los estoy limitando, ¿verdad? But the thing is that you will be sharing the information in the break room. Ahí van a compartir. And then I will give you the feedback. Le puedo dar la retroalimentación después. All right? I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you in a second. So, um... 11 participants only uh, this evening, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask your help, uh, Raul, with the first one, with, uh, with Linda, please. <clears throat> De hecho, estaba escribiendo solas en el WhatsApp. Oh, okay, but right now, just tell me, uh, she works in an office. And she's a receptionist. Just that, please. If that's the case. Answer the phone and welcome the client. Okay. Uh, if you like, just can you, could you tell me like like the sentences like okay, Linda is uh, blah blah blah, and she works and she something like that. Please. Okay. Uh, Linda is a um, receptionist. Uh -huh. In the office doctor, and 
she answered the phone and welcome uh, a people or to people say <laughs> yeah and uh she like the job that job all right thank you thank you yeah that's correct that's correct all right uh she works at a doctor's or in a do doctor's office in la oficina del doctor at a doctor's office she works she welcomes she answers answers la la w no se pronuncia answers 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 all right thank you sir okay so i'll be choosing a friend of, of us uh rocio miss pimentel please if you could help us with uh, Kyle's information, please. Uh, Kyle works uh, in, a, aquí casi no entendí, es en, en la oh. clínica de una, eh, de un hospital, en un, no, en la clínica de una escuela. Sí, ok. Uh, Kylie works in a hospital school. Um, she's a, a nurse. That's correct. That's correct. Yes. And then the, let me choose a friend over here. Uh, Caesar, if you could help us, please, Caesar. Uh, okay. Uh, no sé si, creo que no le entendí muy bien a la número tres, pero es, es Wendy is a uh, Bellhop in a hotel. In a hotel. In a hotel, all right. In a hotel. Okay. Pero me confundí porque escuché la, en la misma conversación a Bellhop in a manager. So you're not sure. You're not sure. No está seguro. You are not sure. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. But so in that case, I'm going to ask everyone in general. So what is it? It does, does, does Wendy work? I'm sorry, is she a manager or a bellhop? She's a bellhop. She is a bellhop, right? Correct, correct. Yes. If the thing is that she has, I don't, I don't know, something sympathy with the manager. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the point over there. But it's it's a bellhop. Bellhop. Okay, nice. Uh, remember that there are more details that you need to get out of this audio, like uh, if they like or, or not their job. And just specific things like uh, Raul says, uh, he says, okay, uh, the first one is, is Linda. So Linda uh, works in, a, in an office. She's a receptionist or she works at a doctor's office. She's a receptionist. She answers the phone and welcomes the customers, right? Customers, right? Or patients, in todo caso sería pacientes, right? Patients, okay, patients, right? Um, cuando deje de compartir, le voy a mandar uh, al chat aquí de, de Zoom cómo se dice paciente, right? But, I mean, cómo se escribe, how you write it down, but it's patients, patients, okay? Uh, hold on, please. Okay, and uh, I think we're done with this. All right. Recuérdense cuando lo pongan en el grupo, usted va a compartir la mayor información, you know, the most information that you are able to, you know, to understand. Okay, but let's continue over here. Let's put this aside. Pongamos esto como on hold, ¿verdad? En espera. So let's place this on hold. Place it on hold. Or let's put it aside. Put something aside. Poner algo a un lado, ¿verdad? Put, put it aside. Now, present simple questions, I, I, I'll be sending to you in a second, all right? I'll be sending to you in a second uh, an access, all right? A link for you to uh, complete this grammar review about yes, no questions with uh, B or with R, is and do and that, all right? We will do this individually. So you have to do this individually. Lo vamos a hacer de forma individual. Okay. And um, en eso, 
Tal vez se nos unen más participantes. And then you will have the chance, uh, you know, to practice with more, more uh, friends over there. All right. So I'm sending this to you right now. Here we go. All right, so uh, since you're looking at my screen over here, so look, it says present simple questions. In some of them, you have to type information, but first of all, comenzamos eligiendo with the drop down menu. ¿verdad? Like for example, you have, you tired. If it's an adjective, you gotta choose is or are, depending on the subject, okay? Si es adjetivo, acuérdese que I can tell you, are you sleepy? Tenemos sueño, tiene sueño? Are you sleepy? Are you angry? Are you hungry? Are you happy? Okay, so those are the clues. Like in this one, in this one, you know, this one, the one that says it's cool. She likes school. Like uh, you have to say, right? Does she like school? Right? Etc. Pero ya les mandé el acceso. It's on the WhatsApp. So I sent it to you already. And that's what I want you to do. Uh, let's see, uh, individually, like a quiz, that, digamos que es como un examen, ¿verdad? un laboratorio, it's like a quiz that I want you to do right now, uh, like in two or three minutes, okay? Si se fijan, hoy estamos cambiando un poquito la metodología y vamos a hacer algo así más propio, ¿verdad? So more personal with this. And then there will come the time for you to share the information. Ya va a llegar el momento de compartir la información. Okay. Let's see. All right. Yeah, we're good. I'm doing the breakout rooms right now. Join the rooms, but continue with this exercise individually. And once you finish, una vez que ya terminen, uh, you can share, okay, number one. Van uno a uno, you know, one by one over here. Uh, but you will be talking about two things. Vamos a hablar de dos cosas, okay? So you will talk about two things. Este present simple question, uh, grammar quiz, and the listening information. Those cosas van a compartir, all right? The listening information and that then you will take the quiz, okay? So join the rooms, please. Join the rooms. All right, so yes, the, the quiz is a little bit long, but you can do it, all right? So you can do it. That's the idea over there, okay? Hello, hello. Hello. Va, sigamos de forma eh, personal, individual, y ya cuando usted lo haga, you can click like, okay, the results over there. Voy a dar en los resultados. Si gusta, mire mi pantalla, por favor. All right. So look at my screen. In the first one, it says, choose the correct word. Va a elegir do, does, or are, and is. Right. And then the next one, you have to choose do or are. Tenga cuidado que tiene que ponerle mayúscula. En este caso, en la primera, le elige, ¿verdad? But on this one, you have to type it. 
within los espacios, so be careful with the spaces and the capital letters over there. On number three, si tiene, si tiene el chequecito, it's positive. Si tiene la X, it's negative. Quiere decir que on exercise three, que dice, do you like school? The answer, la respuesta va a ser, no, I don't. Okay? No, I don't. And then, el punto, right? The period over there. And you continue. That's what you do. Cuando ya termine, le da finish. Y aquí, no sé, para bien o para mal. I don't know, maybe for the good or for the better, for the worse. Uh, you cannot see the answers. O sea, que no puede ver las respuestas. Okay? So that's why you have to help each other. Pero este es un ejercicio del que tienen que compartir, ¿verdad? El otro era el listening. De hecho, Catherine, si se nos acaba de unir hace un poco, un, un momento, el audio del, del, uh, del primer ejercicio, listening, se lo mandé al chat. Entonces, ese es el que van, van ustedes a compartir, ¿verdad? Uh, which is... Lo busco. All right. Yeah, which is, let's see. Um, hold on. This one, okay, it's about this, right? Si tiene el PDF, or if you have something, yeah, you can use it. Si no, yo le voy a mandar ahorita esta imagen. I will share with you this image, all right? Okay. All right. Let's see over here. That's not, uh... All right, so let me just one second over here. Oops, no, it's not on. All right, so I'll be back. So, Raul, you, right now you were like the uh, the castaway, you know, como el naufrago. <laughs> Looking for a Wilson. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> your your partner was Flor, but maybe she's she she she's having problems with her connection. So, pero como estaban trabajando individual, se lo tomó muy a pecho, verdad? <laughs> nice. Uh, let me know when you're ready because the. The, the grammar part, it's a little bit tricky. Un poco como capcioso, ¿verdad? I think that's, that's the question. Or this one, right? Eh, Oscar. Yo ya lo había ver? terminado y por error lo cerré. Híjole. Voy a tener que volver a hacer. Lo que haga es tome la captura de pantalla cuando ya lo tenga. So you don't oh, do it again. Get a screenshot. That happens. Como en, nuestro, en los tiempos de ir al ciber, ¿verdad? Que no guardaba las cosas, o el disquet que nunca le... no sabía, creo. Dejaba la U no funcionó. Sí. Dejaba la U en el ciber. Sí. Yeah. All right, so, uh, Oscar, we're doing this, please, and this is individually, sir. Ahí se los mandé al WhatsApp, Oscar, este, esta, este ejercicio. It's, it's a review, all right? It's a review. Okay? It's a review. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. But if yeah. you like, uh, let's see, Raúl, let's let's do this together, and you you, you guide me through, please. Guide me, guide me through. Eh, okay. Um, I my choice is uh, R. Are you tired? Vaya, si gusta, dígame como que me está haciendo la pregunta, así directo, verdad? Sí, sí. Okay. Eh, okay. Are you tired? Are you tired? Yes. Uh, does she angry? All right. Actually, is, is she angry? Is she angry? Ah, she, uh, is she angry? You cycle to school? Do you cycle to school? Correct. Cycle in this case is like you go in a bike, right? Yes. Bike. Okay. This one? Uh, is she like school? In this case, is, does she like? Because this is a verb. Si es un verbo, va do or does. Okay. Sí. Uh, Ahí es, um, are they worried? Correct. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, are they going to bed at midnight? Eh, es una acción, necesita ir el do. Do, do they go? Yes, sir. Because it, eh, this is an action, all right? It's not a state, no es un estado, it's not, it's not a feeling, okay? And this one? Eh, ahí es... Mm, do you thirsty? No, in that case is, are you thirsty? The you, key, o la clave es, si es, you, if it's an adjective, si es un adjetivo, o es un sentimiento, o un estado de ánimo, it's is or are. All right? Si es, okay. y, si es, y si no va un verbo luego. Eh, lo que pasa es que como son preguntas, los verbos no van luego, si se fija, va un, va un sujeto. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí dice, she hungry, you psycho, she like. Van seguido. La regla es, después del sujeto, va el verbo. Lo que cambia es que primero va el auxiliar en preguntas. Do you? Do you take a shower? Se baña usted. Do you? Take es el verbo. Do es el apéndice que me está diciendo que es una pregunta. Es una pregunta. Va. Y, y eso en, en, en inglés informal yo lo puedo omitir yo le, y, y usted me va, yo le puedo decir you take a shower ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. no le tengo que decir do you take a shower every day yo le pregunto you take a, you, you take a shower every day right le estoy confirmando pero pero en, en el en el a thirsty no le puedo decir eh, no le puedo decir do you thirsty no sí le puedo decir you thirsty you thirsty yeah you got some water You thirsty? Puedo omitir el verbo to be, y, pero no le puedo meter el do, ni el das. Y ese, y ese thirsty o thirsty que es? Thirsty. Ah. Yes. Like, like me right now, right? Yes. But not a beer, right? Unfortunately. <laughs> Ahora voy con... Ajá, ok. Voy con... uh, pero in the meantime, uh, I gotta go visit some of your partners, ok? Si gusta, you can continue with Flor. Flor is here now in Oscar. And okay. remember that you also have the listening information to share about. Tenemos el listening también para compartir. All right? So we have two, two tasks. Ok. okay. All right. Okay. So I'll see you around. Okay. Um, um, Korea, are you 11? Uh, you Correct. Tienes 11 años? Correct. Are you 11? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, do you tell the Trump? Are, are you sad? Are you sad? Are you sad? Exacto, esa es. Sí. Porque es, oh, si, le preguntas si estás triste. Ajá, sí. si estás triste. Hello. Y también uh, relax. Al... Are you estás relax? relax? Estás relax, ajá. Are you relax? Are you relax? Sí. Play... So, so, yeah, do you play the... Do you play the guitar? The guitar. Do, do, you, ajá, do you play the guitar? Do you play the guitar? You play the guitar? Guitar. 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 Yes. Yo, eh, sería, do you, do do you, you have, have do you have the lunch? Do you have hot lunch at school? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. cool. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes, he... yes. Is he... bueno, he... ya la 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 tres, la... Uh -huh. you have to write yes. Mm -hmm. Or no short answers. Yes, short answers. Yes, yes I do. Yes, or no, I, no, I'm not. I no, I'm not. No, I am not. Okay. No, I am. Or no, I'm not. No, I am not. Okay. Is he boring? Yes, I'm boring. It's it's optional the answer. No, in this case you have to look if, if there's a check mark. Chequecito is yes. If it's an X, no. Mm. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Is I don't school. No, I don't. 
sería eh, no, I don't. Sorry, which one? This one is he bored? Yes. It yes. Uh huh. Yes. I don't say yes. Yes, I. Yes. I, yes, yes, he, 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 yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Are they are they English? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Correct. Yes, Aquí lo, uh -huh. lo único que va a hacer es, como yo digo, es darle vuelta a la tortilla, right? Just to say, mm -hmm. yes, I do, no, I don't, yes, he is, no, he isn't, or no, he's not. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Says, you're Are like you a school, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. No, I don't. Are you from Krakow? Krakow. It's, crack wall. Crack wall. It's, a, uh, it's a place, but I don't know where. No, uh, I said, <laughs> un lugar por ahí. <laughs> Ruso, <laughs> <laughs> Vamos. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Crack. What's the name? Let's see. It's crack. Uh, yes. yes. Poland. Yes. It's in Poland. Yes. Uh -huh. And the West Arquita, mm -hmm. maybe. Yes. <laughs> it was close. So Yes. <laughs> Ajá, ahí sería yes, ¿verdad? Yes, I do. Ajá, yes, I do. Yes, I am. Ajá, yes, yes, I am. am. Because are you, are you, are you a doctor? Yes, I am, right? Yes, I am. Mm. <laughs> mm. She surf the inter internet in the evening. Internet. Uh, the internet in the or the internet? Internet or internet? In it's up internet. to you. Mm -hmm. Internet. Does, oh. does she serve? Uh -huh. You have to say yes or not. Yes or not. No, no, no. No, Le pregunto. no. 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 Uh. no, right? You will say no. No. Okay, no. She doesn't. No, she, no, she doesn't. doesn't. Correct. No, no she, she doesn't. doesn't. No, she doesn't. Correct. Do you draw cartoons? Cartoons. Caricaturas. Cartoon. Ah, caricaturas. Cartoons, cartoons like like Tom and and the 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 ratoncito. Yeah, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I. Mm, yes, I yes, am. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right. Okay. Are you twelve? Ya quisiera. Eh. Ya quisiera. Regresar. Ya quisiera estar dormido. Yeah. Menos, vaya. No, no a los 12, sino que 12 menos. No, 12. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. And it would be? No, I'm not. No, I'm no, not. I'm not. Uh -huh. no, I'm vaya. Not. Si por casualidad le da un error alguna respuesta, yeah. es error del sistema, ¿verdad? Por, pero si, digamos que si en este caso ustedes ponen, are you from crack up? Eh, y lo pone, yes, I am. Y si los pone malos, prueben y uh, yes, uh, am. Puede ser error del sistema, ¿verdad? Mm. Pero usted tiene que estar seguro que si le dicen, are you a doctor? Y usted puso, yes, I am, oh. or, or no, I'm not, that's correct. Sí, okay. de 10 me salía, me salió. That's correct. Sí, de 10. Tómele captura, get a screenshot. And then we see what happens. On a screenshot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get a screenshot, please. Get a screenshot. Me da pena cinco de diez. Yeah. No. Estamos, Rocío, estamos aprendiendo. Estamos aprendiendo. Be careful with the capital. Be careful with the capital. Mm -hmm. Mayúsculas. All right? Mm -hmm. Everything counts over here. Okay? You got to double check that. Mm, ahora entiendo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This one, so be careful with that. Yo, bueno, obviamente, yo ya hice esto y solamente una de acá da error. Que dije, como es esto, and then I did it again, and then you take it for the pro. Get a screenshot porque cada vez que le da finish, lo, lo, lo reinicia. So you restart everything, mm. va a perder lo que ha puesto. So get a screenshot. Y se puede volver a hacer. Yeah, you can do it as many times, mm. but it just gives you the score. Sorry. It just gives you the score. It doesn't give you the answers. O sea, no le da la respuesta. It just gives you the score. Okay? 
Así ah, se lo mandé a, a su WhatsApp. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Let's see what happens. Thank you. I'll give you immediate feedback right now. And okay. Uh, let me share your screen, uh, Rocio. Okay, to to you, uh, uh, to your friends. What I can tell you over here, by la, 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 in, in the first part, le voy a dar una regla general o una una clave. You know, I would give you the, the key. Si es un adjetivo, calificativo o lo que sea, o una un sentimiento, un estado de ánimo, you have to use are, is, or am. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm hungry. Tengo hambre, ¿verdad? Estoy hambriento. I'm thirsty. Estoy sediento. But if you look at an action, si usted mira una acción o un verbo después del sujeto, you have to use do or does. Period. Do or does. Ok. Entonces, Rocío. Después, de, eh, después del sujeto, do or does. Sí, es que cuando en preguntas le damos vuelta, ¿verdad? A, a la estructura, ¿verdad? Comenzamos con el auxiliar, que es do or does, and then, y luego el, el sujeto. Con el verbo to be es prácticamente lo mismo. Comenzamos con are you happy? Are you sad? Are you tired? En cambio digo you are, you are sad. You, you are tired. Está cansado. Entonces, she hungry. Hambriento, right? She hungry, right? Uh, are she want... hungry? Uh -huh. Is she hungry? Is she hungry? Correct. And um, then, okay. She hungry. De hecho, este sistema hasta está bien, bien amigable porque en part two it's friendly, user friendly, porque en la parte dos lo puso en minúscula en it's okay, right? It's okay. ¿Por qué? Porque ellos también lo han puesto en minúscula, no están respetando esto en el primer ejercicio. <laughs> Right. <laughs> All right. So I'll see you around, ¿verdad? Voy a seguir inspeccionando. Dicho, solo, solo una pequeña duda. Ok. Entonces, si, si ponemos, si no ponemos un punto o una coma o una mayúscula, no sale mal la respuesta. Por lo menos la mayúscula, yo le doy seguridad que no le sale mal. Ok. With the capital. Oh, But okay. with the rest, en el apóstrofe, por ejemplo, aquí, ahí sí le puede uh -huh. salir malo si no está así, cerquita, a la par. Ah, así como... ok. Eh, sí, porque eso eh. no lo habíamos tomado en cuenta. Sí, a le mí voy... me salió mal. Le voy a compartir la segunda parte. Creo que ahí está. Igual la, la tercera parte. Sí, no respeté el, eh, eh, la mayúscula ni nada. Y ah. sí, me las puso todas malas. Las comas faltan ahí. Yes, coma. I do. No, okay. coma, I don't. Yes. Pero así, eh, a grosso modo, como que fuera solo un speaking activity. Is, is mm -hmm. he bored? Yes, he is. Are they English? Yes, they are. Do you like a school? Uh, no, I don't. Are you from Krakow? Yes, I am. Does she serve? No, she doesn't. Uh, do you draw cartoons? Yes, I do. Are you 12? No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm... Yeah. It's, everything is correct, okay? <laughs> paradoxically, yeah. Para, yeah. paradoxically, 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 están correctas. When you say it, right? Cuando la dice. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, right? <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. nice. Now, do you, I think you have to share the listening part, the listening, if you haven't done it. Vamos okay. a compartir lo, 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 lo de Linda, Kyle and Wendy. Okay, please. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Okay. Stay. So, let's see over here. Está, está preguntando directamente a él. Entonces sería R. R. R, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Aquí está preguntándole a él directamente, entonces debería de ser R. R. Did you take tour to 
ya era screenshot, ¿verdad? Saquen la captura de pantalla pa, para que no se le borre o, o tenerlo ahí de evidencia. You know? Get screenshots when you finish. Ok. okay. Eh, okay. Sí, sir, si me ayuda con el... Ya, yeah, yeah. está bueno. <ríe> a mí I'm también sorry. se me había ido. A mí también se me había I'm ido. I'm sorry. <ríe> That's okay. <ríe> eh, you then said... Do you tell the truck? Está... If it's an action, if it's an action, you say do or does. If it's, if it's sí. a, an adjective or a feeling, you say are or is. Right. En este caso, le está preguntando a él directamente, es are. No, because it's, it's an action, like, I give it, tell. La acción. Tell. Por ejemplo, yo le puedo preguntar, Nelson, are you my enemy? Are you no, no, my no, no, enemy? Este es enemigo mío. Are you Ajá. my enemy? ¿Quién me va a decir? Dígame, dígame, dígame sí o dígame no. Doesn't matter. No. no. Ok, no, ¿verdad? No, I'm not. No, I am. Ok, no, I'm not. I am. Me dice, yes, I am. ¿Verdad? Ok, entonces usted es mi enemigo. Es. Entonces yo Ajá. le digo, a, yo le digo, a, uno no dice esto, ¿verdad? Pero... Los, los, los gringos sí dicen I hate you, I hate you. Lo, me te detesto, te detesto. Entonces le puede decir Do you hate me? Do you hate me? Está la acción, ¿verdad? Me, me detesta, te caigo mal. ¿Por qué? Because you are my enemy. Entonces I le pregunto Are you, you my enemy? Are you? Enemy. Entonces. Ahí sería, entonces en ese es Do you tell the truth? Ajá, do you tell the truth? Me está diciendo la verdad. Me está diciendo la verdad. Uh -huh. Me decís la verdad. Sí, porque es la acción. Es the action, exactly. Es the action. Es the action. The action. Exacto. Ah, ok. Aquí dice... What is often? Frequently. Algo hecho con frecuencia. Frecuente. Pero desde aquí es... Ah, porque... Es la Why? persona. Pero eh, mira algún verbo por ahí. Do you see a verb, an action in there? Uh, ayudar. Yes, so, eso mata carita, ¿verdad? Ah. <laughs> o sea, el billete mata carita en ese caso, le estoy diciendo. Este, help, help. It's a verb, so you say, do you. Do you often help? Ayuda usted a sus amigos, ¿verdad? Con frecuencia. <laughs> do, you, do you help your friends? Do you often help your friends? Ahí sí, ahí es our. Yes, sir. Are you sad? No, no. Le está preguntando, ¿estás malvado? Triste? No. ¿Estás desanimado? ¿Estás triste? ¿Estás bajo? Porque ya se viene el 14 de febrero y we don't have this. And right? are. Yeah, me neither. Ok. Are, uh -huh. are you relaxed? Are, are you relaxed? No, right. Do you play the guitar? Yes. Do you play the guitar? Toca la guitarra. Do you play the guitar? Do you play? Do you have hot lunch at school? Exactly, exactly. Good job, Nelson. Good job, sir. All right, so on this part, number three, you have to be careful. Tienen que tener cuidado. If you see the check mark, si miran el, el, el chequecito, you have to say yes. If you see the X, it's no. En short answer. Por ejemplo, yo le pregunto. Are you my friend? Are you, are you my friend, eh, Cesar? Respuesta corta. Sí o no? Yes or no? Are you my friend, Cesar? Yes. Ok, thank you. Me puede decir, respuesta corta. Yes, I am. Por cuestiones de gramática, ¿verdad? Yes, I am. Yes, I Or am. you can say, no, I'm not. Si tiene la X, no, I'm not. Or, no, I don't. Dependiendo del sujeto, ¿verdad? Right? Ah, ok. Entonces, o, o sea que no sueles poner yes y ya, o sea. No, porque aquí está el sujeto. Aquí está el chequecito. ¿Verdad? Right? Yes. No. Uh. Vale, aquí solamente una, una aclaración. Eh, si le sale malo, puede ser por una coma, por un punto. Por eso les necesito que, que le saquen un screenshot, una captura, 
porque yo así les corroboro que no, aquí solamente fue que se le fue un error de dedo, un espacio, pero gramaticalmente está bien. Oh, okay. That's one, all right? So, see you around. Let's see, all right. Hay que, hay, hay, perdón, hay que practicar también la información de la conversación, please. You have to practice that information as well. O si ya lo hicieron. Lo de Linda. Sí, de, 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 de lo check. Ajá, ya dijeron. Yes, ya works. lo hicimos. All right, sí. nice. Ok, thank you. Le estoy poniendo la coma para ver si es eso. Hello, hello. Tengo un problema. Yes. Me salieron 6 de 10, pero no me dejó ca capturar la pantalla. Y Oops. otra vez tengo que empezar. No, let me help you then. All right. Okay. And then, mm -hmm. and then we have... Uh... Bueno, en todo caso tendríamos que darle capturar. Bueno, vamos a ver. But are you tired? Is she hungry? Do you cycle to school? Eh, does she like school? Are they worried? Do they go to bed at midnight? Are you thirsty? Si es un sentimiento, un estado de ánimo o una ocupación, por así decirlo, mm -hmm. es are or is. Es el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Porque es el sí. ser de la persona o el estar, ¿verdad? De, un, de una condición o un estado. ¿Ok? No se preocupe por las mayúsculas o minúsculas. Aquí no se las va a tomar en cuenta. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Pero... Si inmediatamente después del sujeto hay un verbo, you have to use do or does. That's the rule. Because you're asking, so, en general, do you love me? Do you love me? ¿Me querés? Mm -hmm. Sí. Right? No le voy a decir, are you love me, verdad? Okay. It, it, it's weird. <laughs> All right? I can ask you, are you crazy? I mean, ¿qué te pasa? Estás loco. Are you crazy? No le voy a decir, do you crazy? ¿verdad? Porque no hay un verbo ahí. Right? So, and that's the point over there. So, the next one. Uh, do you, right? Do you often help your friends? Often means frecuentemente. All right? Are you sad? Porque estás triste. All right? Are you, re are you relaxed? Right? Yes, I am, right? Do you play the guitar? Una acción, right? That's an action. Do you play the guitar? I'm sorry. And this one is, you have had lunch uh, at school. Este had, no está dando problemas, pero es do you, porque es do you have mm -hmm. had lunch at school, ¿verdad? Sí. Almorzar, no sé, caliente, o la comida está caliente en el la, almuerzo. La, la comida Ajá, está caliente. ¿Verdad? Eh, it makes sense. Y sí. eh, aquí era dependiendo del chequecito. Si este chequecito es yes, yes. if it's an ex, no, right? Aquí mm -hmm. cuenta mucho los espacios y las comas, ¿ok? Sí, porque todas me salieron malas. Yes, you say yes, I am. I am. Okay. Y aquí es, uh, are they English? Yes. Yes. They are. They are. Do you like at school? No, I don't. Okay. Are you from Krakow? You will say, yes, I am. I am. Pero en este caso, como yo ya lo hice, yo sé que el sistema tiene un error y en realidad usted no va a decir, yes, I am. En respuesta corta, usted va a decir, yes, I am. Or I no, am. I'm not. Nunca va a decir, yes, I'm. No. Mm -hmm. Pero aquí el sistema tiene un error. Ya van a ver. Does she serve the internet in the evening? Eh, quiero ver, what is it? It's no, right? No. no, she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't, right? And then we have here, do you draw cartoons? Car cartoons son caricaturas, ¿verdad? Dibujitos. Yes, como los pica piedras. Yes, I do. <laughs> yo, yo puse que no porque yo no puedo. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero es de acuerdo al chequecito. <laughs> sí. Yeah. Obviamente la última es coincidencia, ¿verdad? Que nadie tiene 12 aquí. ¿no? 12 por 2 o 12 por 3, ¿verdad? <laughs> no, I'm not. All right? Aquí me puede dar error, ¿verdad? Porque el sistema así lo va, así lo va a permitir. Entonces, I'll, I'll get a screenshot. Antes que nada... ¿Verdad? Para darle la retroalimentación. I'll give you the feedback. Así que, allow me just one second. Vamos a ver, estamos grabando. Yes, we're still recording. We go number two.
permítame, estoy sacándole sin darle la respuesta porque no me confío que al final me lo borre, por lo que le pasó a usted, ¿verdad? A mí me pasó. Me puse sí, entonces... 6 de 10, pero no me dejó capturar porque se, se borró automáticamente. Uh -huh. Sí, yo creo que de hecho no le da la respuesta a veces, pero vamos a ver. Eh, como cuando iba al ciber, ¿verdad? Bueno, a mí me pasaba de que no le daba a guardar y se le borraba todo. Híjole, ya empezar de nuevo. Bien triste. <risa> That was up. All right, so let's see. Let's see over here. And we go. He says, check my answers. Mm -hmm. Ya ve lo que le dije, ¿verdad? Aquí está, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ahí está el error. Ah, no, 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 pero es que aquí yo me equivoqué en realidad. Fíjese, aquí yo le puse yes allá, me aquí es yes, he is. Entonces, sí, aquí, sí. Yo, aquí yo me equivoqué, perdón. Uh -huh. Entonces aquí sí iba a ser no contractado, yes, I am. Y aquí, uh -huh. no, I'm not. ¿Verdad? Aquí no sé por qué me lo pone malo, pero lo correcto es eso. No, I'm not. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Este sí fue error mío porque era yes, era he. he. Yes, he uh -huh. is, right, yes. Da, pero lo de arriba sí está bien, mire. Sí. Bueno, voy a hacerlo de nuevo para capturar la pantalla porque. Yes. All right. So let's come back to the main session then. Okay. Please. Sí. Thank you. Gracias. You're welcome. So how's everything going, Mr. Hernandez? Are you busy? You driving? Padding? <laughs> yeah, just kidding over here. All right, so uh, welcome back. Uh, let's continue with this. All right. Let me choose uh, Ms. Pimentel because uh, I was practicing with, with you, uh, Rocio, and I guess you did this already. Como ya tiene la respuesta acá, I just need you to uh, you know, ask the questions and read them, please, if you don't mind. Thank you. Okay, um, the first is, are you tired? Uh -huh. uh, is she hungry? Uh -huh. Do you cycle to school? Yes. Uh, does, does she like uh, school? Uh -huh. Are they worried? Uh, do you, they go to bed at midnight? Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Thank you so much. Yeah, that's correct. So uh, are they worried? Worried, worried, without the e d. Sin la e. Worried, 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 worried. Yeah, worried. Okay, like thank you. Tea. Yes, worried, worried, worried. worried. Okay, yes. thank you. All right, and then we have right do or are over here. So I told you. Le dije algunos. So thank you so much. If you see an adjective. Or a state, un estado, like a feeling, you know, or, or for example, if I ask you, are you a doctor? You, aunque se, aunque se jubile, even if you get retired, you are still a doctor. Like a, like a, a military officer, right? Como un militar. If they get retired, they are still an officer, ¿verdad? Okay? A eso me refiero. Entonces, el verbo to be, eso hace alusión. But... We use do for actions. If you have, uh, si tiene un verbo usted que acompaña la oración, immediately you say do or does. All right? And that's it. Eh, oh, oh, en esta, on number three, tenemos often. Ahí ya no lo pone un poquito difícil, como el profe de mate, ¿verdad? That sometimes they explain the things easily, but on the exam it's like, okay, what's this, right? Como en el examen de mate. So that that's my hap might happen. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna ask you, Mr. Baltazar, if you don't mind, please, sir, just read. 
Read, please, this. Leamos. Read. All of them. And remember to do the right intonation. Uh, are, are you are, are you uh, eleven? Are you eleven? Yes, sir. Uh, do you take do you take uh, fruit? Always. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you do you after have your friends? Yes. Are you sad? Sometimes or never. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> uh, are you relaxed? Uh, maybe on Sundays, right? <laughs> uh, do you do, do you play the, the guitars? No, I wish. <laughs> do you do you play the guitars? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you do you do you do you have a lunch at school? Yes. Yes, I do. Right. Yes, I do. Okay. Thank you, sir. And now we have number three. And let me just one second, come over here. Is a word red? Yes, I am. Yes, but right now uh, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask somebody else, Mr. Balta. Vamos a, a, a pedirle a alguien más que nos ayude. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, Claudia, would you help us, please? Is he bored? Uh, yes, he is. Are they English? Yes, they yes. are. Continue, continue. Do you play a school? No, I don't. Are you from uh, Krakow? Yes, I am. Does Chief surf the internet in the evening? No, she don't. Do you drop? Cartons? Yes, I do. Are you um, 12? No, I am not. I'm not. Okay. No, I am not. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, let me explain something over here, ¿verdad? Para que no nos confundamos. Las que están en rojito, the first one, it was my mistake, ¿verdad? It was a, a beginner mistake, ¿verdad? Un error de principiante, ¿verdad? Eh, y no hago alusión a ustedes, sino el hecho de que si no ponemos cuidado lo que estamos haciendo, cualquiera se equivoca. Mm -hmm. Because over here, yo le puse como, if it was me, right? Como que me está preguntando a mí. But in, this, in that case, it was, yes, he is on the... Uh, en esta de Krakow, que es en Poland, it's in Poland, ahí en Polonia, cuando usted dice, yes, I am, tiene que decirlo sin contracción, without contraction. ¿Ok? Respuesta corta de decir, yes, I am. Are you a doctor? Are you a nurse? Are you a secretary? Are you a maintenance, a maintenance uh, agent or a customer service agent? Yes, I am. Lo va a decir completo, respuesta corta, pero, pero va a decir, yes, I am, separado. ¿Ok? No va a decir, yes, I am. We don't say that. ¿Ok? Entonces, si le pregunto, are you, um, are you happy? You can say, yes, I am. No, no me va a decir, yes, I'm. Y ese es el error de esa oración. But on the other one, are you 12? Eh, el sistema solo me, me permite una respuesta correcta, pero hay varias. O sea, en la última que dice, are you 12? It's correct, porque yo le puedo decir, no, I'm not. Pero aquí uno, no, I'm, contractado, I'm, no, I am, I'm not. Eso es lo, lo, lo normal, pero I can tell you, no, I am not. ¿Verdad? Pero lo normal es contractar lo negativo, ¿verdad? No, I'm not, como cuando yo digo, no, I don't. Contracto, ¿verdad? El sujeto con lo negativo. Pero lo que quiero que nos grabemos es dos cosas, prácticamente. Y ese era el objetivo de esto. Lo primero, if you see an adjective, tired, hungry, worried, thirsty, y ayúdenme a identificar adjetivos acá, ¿verdad? O estado, ¿verdad? O condiciones. Tener una edad, that's a state. Estar casado, that's a state, right? Okay, so you have 11. ¿Cuál es otro estado, verdad? 
o un o, or a feeling o or, or an adjective si me pueden ayudar en el segundo en in the second exercise rapidito cualquiera relax relax, relax. yes sad. Uh -huh. okay sad yes sad. and that's it mm -hmm. right it, yes on number three boring bored Mm, English, English, right? En ese caso es, usted es salvadoreño y aunque no nos guste o nos guste, we're salvadoreans, right? <laughs> okay. A veces. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Los domingos cuando está escuchándose las pupusas, dice, ah, qué bueno. <laughs> yes. And like this, are you from Krakow? Like the nationality, right? Etc, etc. Okay, are you 12? Quisiéramos tener, no sé, 20 or if you're happy, that's okay. So that's okay. Uh, that's the idea. All right. So now let's continue please, with, uh, with the rest of the class over there. And uh, just one second. Let's see what happens. All right. You're going to like, you will like the, uh, the, the listening uh, that I'll be sharing with you in a second. Ya le va a gustar. The listening que le voy a compartir. Okay. Uh, let me just. This is just a friendly reminder, ¿verdad? Ya saben lo que le voy a decir, ¿verdad? A friendly reminder. <laughs> It's a friendly reminder what I'm about to tell you right now. Um, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, this one. This is just a friendly reminder. Uh, That's my justification, right? So uh, this Friday, uh, unit three should be completed. Si se fijan aquí yo completé haciendo práctica only the 80%, that's what I did. Por eso es que me aparece aquí el 80 out of 100, because I didn't do this one. But I really expect you complete everything, ¿verdad? No dejemos nada de decir, ah, ya 80 ya tengo, ¿verdad? 90% ya lo tengo, no, no, no. Let's aim for the sky, right? Si se fijan, ¿verdad? Son cinco. It's five exercises out of section three. Activity one, 20 out of 20. This one I didn't do it. No la hice. Right? Pero ustedes tendrían que hacerla. Then number three, I did it. Number four, I did it. And the last one, I did it. I know that this one has to do with telling the time. Así que ahorita vamos a comenzar con este tema. What time is it? Right? That, ese, ese es la, la, la temática ahorita. Right? What time is it? That's the topic. Ese es el tema. The topic. What time is it? Or what time do you wake up? That's the topic right now. Eso vamos a iniciar ahorita. So we're about to start that. All right? Here we go. You see, that's the listening. Briefly, there you go. Now you have an idea, back and forth. Solamente le doy el dulcito, ¿verdad? But now I will play it in, 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 in a notebook or in your cell phone or whatever place you are taking notes on, escríbame de qué se trata la conversación, right? Or something about that. You know that it's about time. Ya saben que es acerca de la hora, but you don't know uh, details, ¿verdad? Pero si pueden, I don't know, if you can understand like the time, de lo que hablan, maybe a five, a bien, 7 p.m. Okay, escribamos details, you know, things about that. Or the names of the speakers. Eso vamos a hacer ahorita, okay? So I will play And listening to you. Ya le voy a poner un audio. All right? I'll play an audio right now. So allow me just one second. Permítame un segundo. Por acá. <clears throat> Let's see. Just one moment. All right, found it. Page 30, exercise two, conversation. What time is it there? Listen and practice. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m., and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. 
That's okay. I'm awake now. All right, that's it. That's it. That was the listening over there. Okay, so, and that's a great one, but you know, it's it's a it's a fun conversation. All right, uh, one person it's like let's say far away in a different continent, and it's calling you know to check out how maybe the wife it's it is doing. All right, so and that's the idea in there. All right, so did you get the place? Did you get the place uh, the husband was calling from? Saltaron el lugar. What is it, please? Australia. It's in Australia, right? That's correct. And remember that because of the distance, we have different uh, hours, all right? We have different hours, you know, time differences over there. So now let me show you the, uh, the script and there you have it. So what time is it there? What time is it there? All right, sometimes when we call relatives, es decir, familiares, relatives in the States, in the United States, you ask, so what time is it there? You know, in New York, in Maryland, you know, in Colorado, et cetera, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a great question. So what time is it there? Let me play it again. And that's, uh, enjoy. Page 30, exercise two, conversation. What time is it there? Listen and practice. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm <laughs> really sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'm awake now. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, it's like, okay, so don't be sorry because you woke me up, you know, uh, now uh, I don't need the alarm clock, ya no necesito la alarma, so I'm awake already. Okay, so that's a great conversation, by the way, so it's Davey and John, so John is calling from Australia in Sydney because he's in a conference, in a conference. yes, in a conference, and then in Sydney, it's 10 p.m., right? And then he says it's four o'clock in Los Angeles, right? So that's in California. And then she says, yes, but it's 4 a.m. So it's not 4 p.m. So what are you thinking, right? ¿Qué está, qué piensa? ¿Qué está pensando? So, and then it's okay. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake. Ya estoy despierta. I'm awake now. Okay. Now, um, Let's take a look at some link sounds, ¿verdad? Antes de que los ponga a practicar, let's take a look at some link sounds, ¿verdad? Uniones de sonidos. This is John from Australia. Más o menos acá se une from Australia. Aquí une, ¿verdad? I'm, I'm, a, conference. I'm at a conference. I'm, I'm at a, a, Como que diga ama. I'm, I'm at a conference. A conference. I'm at a conference. Okay, in Sydney. Uh, what time is it there? What time is it there? What time is it there? What time me? What time is it there? Como a tami, verdad? Como a tami. <laughs> what time is it there? Yeah. What time? What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock. Four, four, four o'clock. Four o'clock there in Los Angeles. Aquí más o menos, verdad? There in Los Angeles. Angeles. Okay. Right? Yes. Right okay. significa verdad? Vea? People say that, yes, four o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I'm awake. I'm a, I'm, I'm awake. awake. I'm a, I'm awake. Okay, I'm awake now. I'm awake. Okay. I'll be, I'm I'll be choosing two speakers to help me practice this. So Mr. Nelson, you'll be the first one. And then, if you don't mind, Anayansi, please, you will help us. Uh, Anayansi, you are Debbie. And then, uh, Nelson, you are John. So, Anayansi, you start. Comienza, Anayansi, hello. Pero sí. tiene, tiene eh, silencio. All right, so, unmute your microphone. Okay. Hello. 
Hi, Debbie. Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? I'm at a conference. I'm at a conference. All oh, right. Yeah, I mean, uh, continue, please, Sydney. Sigo. Yeah, continue. Yeah, continue. Okay. All right. What time? What time is it? There is there. Perdón, repito. All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I away I am away now. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay. All right. So I uh, just muted your microphone, so I'm sorry about that. Now, please. Uh, now we we have to go to a different level over here. Vamos a aplicar una actividad que se llama eh, look up en inglés, verdad? Mirar arriba o hacia arriba, o just look down, o just close your eyes, verdad? O cierren los ojos o something like that. <laughs> Pero no se vaya a dormir, verdad? The idea is not to read out of the conversation too much. Tratemos de decir como cuando pas pasan a pasaban a la iglesia, verdad? Like, ooh, long time ago, um, to read, right? Or cuando pasaba a, a, a decir la oración a la bandera, ¿verdad? like those times over there. So if you remember that. <laughs> okay. So just now look at me, please. All right. So now you may look at me or just listen like, okay, hello. Hi, David. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Um, all right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Obviamente no le pido que lo diga así de rápido. If you say it like that, que bueno. Y si lo dice más rápido, aún mejor. Uh, but what matters here is the intonation, ¿verdad? Así que no dependamos mucho de decir, I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right, what time is it there? It's 10 p.m. So the thing is that you have to, like, do the role play. Hello. O sea, eso lo podemos decir. Like, hi, David, this is Johnson. Hi, uh, everyone, this is Jose. I'm calling from San Miguel, right? Uh, yeah, San Michael City, right? And then, and then you continue. <laughs> Yeah, where are you? Uh, it's uh, four o'clock in, in, in Chulton City, right? And then you continue just like that, right? So that's, that's the idea. Entonces, tratemos de no leer 100%. Por lo menos, the last word out of a question, uh, you have to say it, uh, let's say, without reading, okay? For, because the, the question mark helps us. Si es una pregunta, ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Que con, termina con entonación. So what time is it there? Right. Oh, I'm really sorry. Frase ya dada, ¿verdad? Entonces, those are the things that you will practice. Pero there's something else that I want you to practice. Primero, voy a explicar esto, ¿verdad? Antes de que nos vaya la hora. All right? Take a look at this. You may know this already, but this is just a review. All right? It's just a review. So what time is it? We say, um, cuando son horas exactas, like you know already, right? If it's like, uh, an exact time, you say all clock, all clock, okay? Or you say it's one sharp, sharp, como de filoso, sharp, como los sharpie, yeah? sharp, okay, sharp. Y yo le digo, okay, tiene que estar a las cinco, pero así en punto, ¿verdad? So, uh, you have to be here, five sharp, es lo mismo que decir all clock, pero eso es informal, okay, sharp, ¿verdad? Como... Al filo, okay, and then so that's the first one. 
when you say uh, it's one of five, one of six, one of seven, one of nine, del, del minuto uno al minuto nueve le pone el O, le pone el cero. You have to say it that way. For example, si ahorita fueran las nueve y cuatro, you have to say it's nine o four. Si son las nueve y, y nueve, it's nine o nine. Del 10 para adelante lo, lo dice tal cual es. It's 10, 10. Aunque suene raro, but that's the way. What time is it? It's 10, 15. En este caso es la una, ¿verdad? It's 1, 15 o la una y cuarto. Como decimos en español, the same way. It's a quarter, it's a quarter, quarter. Por eso que decimos quarter, ¿verdad? Quarter, quarter after one. It's a quarter, quarter, quarter. Quarter, quarter after one or one fifteen. You say whatever expression you feel more comfortable with. Usted aprendase la que es más confiable para usted. Okay, that's all I'm saying. It's a quarter after one. Cuando dice que es un cuarto va a comenzar igual que es, es en español uno dice son la una y cuarto. Aquí diría primero un cuarto y uno, ¿verdad? después de la una. So we say, you know, the other way around, al revés, the other way around. It's a quarter after one. After, fijémonos en el after. Cuando llegamos a la hora y media, we say it's one thirty. It's one thirty. Aquí no aparece otra opción, pero la voy a mandar la opción en el chat. Okay, and then you can say it's a uh, half as, y dice la hora, half past one, le pone la mitad después de tal cosa, ¿verdad? De tal hora, es half past one, half past two, pero lo más normal es eh, one thirty, si ahorita que eran las nueve y media, es you can say it's nine thirty, and just like that, literal, ¿verdad? That's literally, it's nine thirty, and that's how you say it, brother. okay? After the clock, hits the 30 and then it's getting close or closer to the, to the next hour. Llegamos cerca de la otra hora. Vamos a ocupar el two, two. Por eso decimos 20 para la una, eh, 25 para la dos, etc., etc. So you have to be careful on that one. But once again, O lo dice tal cual es, ¿verdad? La 1 y 40, la 1 y 50, etcétera, etcétera. So you decide. And that's good, porque en inglés, igual que en español, you decide. You see here? It's 140. Let me go a little bit, you know, full screen. Porque. Y usted me puede decir, esto está un poco desfasado, ¿verdad? Porque ya tenemos el digital, ¿verdad? Y todo, ¿verdad? No tenemos estos relojes. <laughs> But if you ask, si le pregunta ya a las nuevas generaciones, so I have a, I have a, a, I know someone, he doesn't know how to say the time like this, you know, with this. So children have it difficult. Ahora lo tienen análogo, ¿verdad? So, okay, there you have it. Right? <laughs> it's easier for them. But in English, it doesn't matter. You have to say it in English, right? It's the same thing. All right, so you see here, it's 140 or 20 to 2. All right? 20 to 2, 20 para las 2. All right, 20 to 2. Si estuviera en el, en el 7 acá sería, es 135 or 25 to 2. Ok. Después de la, de la media hora, ya igual, que, igual que en español le ponemos el 2. Ok. Now, eh, same case como el quarter, ¿verdad? Pero aquí es como un cuarto para. Y en cambio aquí es la una y cuarto. ¿Ok? So, and that's the difference over there. You say it's, uh, it's a quarter after one. A quarter after one. Comenzamos al revés, ¿verdad? Un cuarto después de. But on this one we say it's 1.45. Literal, tal cual es, ¿verdad? 1.45. Or it's a quarter to two. Un cuarto a las dos. Aquí sí es igual que en español. It's just like in Spanish. All right? Just like in Spanish, it's a quarter to two. Ya va a haber tiempo para practicar. You know, you're going to have time to practice. Entonces, we have the practice over here. Like, what time is it? 
like on this one, right? And then you have age to 20 or 20 after two, okay? Entonces, what you're going to do, you will practice, you know, how to say the time in two different ways, okay? Y lo que vamos a hacer is, is the following, you know, it's the following. Um, but there, there is, there is uh, something else that I really want you to practice, okay? Para que nos alcance el tiempo. Take a look at this. Ya vamos a regresar a la, a la página anterior. So we're going to go back to the previous page, but take a look at this page over here. All right? So take a look at this one. Um, is it a.m. or p.m.? Is it a.m. or p.m.? In this case, since we live in the same country, it doesn't really matter because the, uh, the time, uh, you know, zones, ¿verdad? Las, horas, las zonas horarias, you know, they don't change at all. No cambian para nada. But as you can see in the conversation, como pueden ver en la conversación, uh, John is calling from Australia and then Debbie uh, lives in Los Angeles and then they have uh, like six hours of difference, right? It's, yes, it's six hours of difference, I would say, okay? And that's why, por eso que le dice, four o'clock, aquí dice 10 p.m., right? Four o'clock, but then she says, Four o'clock in the morning. O sea, que usted puede decir 4 a.m. or 4 in the morning. 4 a.m. in the morning. Okay? Yes, Raúl, you want to say something? Pensé que eran 18 horas de diferencia. O oh, 18, ¿verdad? Lo, lo que... No, 6 son, ¿verdad? No, creo que son 18 porque primero va a Australia. All right. Estamos cerca. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Ay, no, yes. yo lo bandeo si me levantan a esa hora. Sí, sí, cualquiera. <laughs> yeah, anybody with her. So the point is the following. So you have two options. It's seven o'clock. Okay, las siete en punto. Y ya usted puede enfatizar, okay, ¿a qué hora? Pues a las siete. Okay, seven in the morning or seven a.m. Okay, it's the same thing. No es que va a decir usted las tres. No, you don't have to say. You gotta say only one. Y lo más común es decir at seven or at seven o'clock or seven sharp. Okay, so it's up to you. So uh, what time on number two here? It's 12, 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. or it's noon. Bien común decir noon, verdad? Mediodía, noon, right? Noon, 12 p.m. en punto. Or 12 o'clock. And then the other one es lo mismo. It's four o'clock, four in the afternoon, or it's four p.m. Y como usted ya se dio cuenta, igualito, right? The same. It's 7 o'clock, 7 in the evening, or 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock, or, or 10 at night, or 10 p.m., right? It's 12 at night, 12 a.m. Entonces, la medianoche, right? 12 a.m. And it's midnight, right? Midnight, medianoche, mediodía, no, right? At night. Decimos, no decimos in night, decimos at night. Pero decimos in the evening and in the morning, right? So, entonces, ¿cuál es la enseñanza acá? All right? That you can say it's 1 p.m., 1 in the afternoon, or 1 o'clock. It's up to you. But since in San Miguel and Santa Ana, they have the same hour, <laughs> the same time, you don't really have to say, right? It's 7 a.m. in San Miguel and 7 in the afternoon in Santana. It's the same thing, right? So, aquí no se aplica mucho. But you have to understand, okay? So, now, to practice, you will practice three things. Y le vamos a poner, you know, un nombre y apellido. You will practice, first of all, this, okay? This conversation, at least one or two times. You will practice saying this time, Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to say it's a uh, time, you know, in two different ways, in two different ways, in two different ways. And then you will say uh, this uh, time, all right? Also in two or three different ways, like it's nine o'clock, it's nine in the evening, it's 9 p.m., all right? You don't have to write anything. ¿verdad? 
don't write anything. No escribamos nada. It has to be speaking. But when you're practicing, cuando estén practicando lo de la hora, ask the question, please. What time is it? Number one, what time is it? And then you tell me it's this. What time is it? Number two. And then you say that. Para que practiquemos, so you can practice that. So one more time, please. Let's practice the conversation. Practice, you know, saying the time over here. Like what time is it? In two ways. And then the last one, say what time is it? In different ways, ¿verdad? En distintas formas. Okay, it's nine in the morning, 9 a.m. or nine o'clock. Yes? Nice. Okay, let me just one second. So I'm going to send you to the breaker room so you can practice. Uh, but in the meantime, let me just see here. So I have Jacqueline, Anayansi, Cesar, Claudia, Eduardo, uh, Mr. Baltazar. Catherine, eh, Oscar, Dolores, Nelson, Raúl, eh, Miss Pimentel, Rosillo, and then I have Flor. Yes, everyone, right? Nice. Thank you. And um, here we go. All right. Rooms are the rooms are open. Go ahead and practice, please. Conversation and the time. Este, entonces, la primera. Ahorita la estoy buscando. Uh -huh. Ya se los mando. Ahorita estoy trabajando en eso, ¿verdad? Para qué. Ah, ok. okay. Así porque en el PDF nos vamos a perder. Son las últimas páginas, de hecho. Tipo uh -huh. 20, la página 24, por ahí, 25, tal vez. Ah. Yes, what's the page number? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I sent it already. It's on the chat, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Okay. So I'll be sending the second one right now. Okay. Vaya, comencemos con ese entonces. Pero compartimos. And yes, thank you, sir. No, Ben. Sí. Yeah, thank you, sir. Bye. Eh, Comenzamos. Sorry. Bye, yo. Sí. Hello. Eh, perdón. Eh, aquí tenemos que una consulta, teacher. Tenemos que personalizar o tal cual está la conversación no just like this like this okay uh -huh. repeat please uh, Sarah. hello hi baby this is john i'm calling from australia australia i'm at a conference in sydney remember all right what time is it still? It's a uh, uh, 9 p.m. and it's a uh, 4 o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay, I'm walking. I'm, ¿cómo era eso? I'm awake, no. I'm awake. I'm awake, I'm awake, no. I'm awake no. now. 
ya estoy despierto, ah, wey, ni mira. modo, o sea, ya, ¿qué vas a hacer? Ni modo, ya me despertó, <risa> eh. Ni modo, o sea, voy a poner el café mejor. <risa> voy okay. a bañar mejor. <risa> no, what I was telling you, lo que les decía anteriormente es que no dependamos de la lectura mucho, sino que digamos, ok, hello, hi, David, this is John. I'm calling from Australia, ¿verdad? El hecho de que, o sea, que no, no estemos clavados con la lectura así, sino que como que hagamos contacto visual, ya sea con la pantalla o con su compañero o con la pared o no, you close the eyes, you know, it's up to you, ¿verdad? Es para que okay. se nos queden esas frasecitas, créanme. It helps, it helps, ayuda mucho. Uh, so, that's okay, I'm awake, ya me despertaste, so I'm awake, ¿verdad? <laughs> Okay. okay, so now Catherine and somebody else, right? So, and then I will see you around, okay? Okay. Antes de cuando no estaba la pandemia, a esa hora me levantaba a las 4 a.m. No tenía vida, but you didn't have a life, right? Yeah, me neither. I used to wake up at 4.30 and now I wake up at 5.30 or sometimes at 6. So I'm sleeping more. Um, a big difference. That's a hell of a difference, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's quite a difference. So. Well, el otro es la hora. ¿Dónde está? Aquí está. Yeah, yes. that one. Grammar focus. What time is it? <sighs> Look at these clocks. What time is it? And the number one okay. is uh, 2.20. Or, or 20, yeah. Or uh, it's... Um, 20, uh, 20, 20 after 2. 20 yes. after 2. Or 20 past 2. Yeah. You can say 20, 20 past 2. Mm -hmm. And the number right. 2 is... What six, time is it? Number 2, what time is it? Is... Uh, six, uh, 6 6.50. Or, or 10 minutes uh, 7. Yes, or 10 to 7. Uh, 10 to 7, yeah, 10 to 7. Yeah, just like that. Just like 10 that. 10 to 7. All right, number three. Seven. What time is it? It's, um, 15 to, na uh, 15 to 9. Yes. But in yeah, in that case, you say a quarter to 9. A quarter, yeah. Or 15 to 9, yes. A it's okay. A quarter, a quarter Or, nine. Raul, eight. 45. 45, sir. Yes, correct. And you said this one, ¿verdad? Un blackberry, ya, yeah, difunto. <laughs> Mentira. Yo tengo uno todavía. <laughs> yeah. I used to have it. <laughs> 32 giga interna. And uh, it's no longer useful. So it's, do you use it or not? Not right. Okay. So what time is it over here? It's 11.05 a.m. Or? Or? Uh, five after 11. Yeah, five after 11 or five past 11. All right. Uh, and the last one, this one, parece más un this, 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 this man, man. <laughs> 3 3.15. 3 3.15 uh, or? 3.15. Ah, yeah, 3.15. <laughs> <laughs> or? 3.15, yeah, and... Um, a, a, a quarter after quarter, yeah, quarter after yeah, three quarter after three yes yeah that's what we say three and the last one gentlemen what time is it for 30 for 30 uh, or for 30 or uh four and a half four and a half or 30 four after and a half or 30 after four 30 after four yeah, I think you can also oh. say like 30 to 5, but that's not yeah. really common, right? That's not really common. But let's let's do this one, okay? So uh, we have it's 8 o'clock in the morning or? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, it's 8 o'clock. Hold on. Let me, let me uh, go Wait, for the screen. The last okay. picture. Yeah, no. this one. Ah, you're, you're, you're sharing the... <laughs> I'm sharing the screen. I'm sharing the screen. I was watching. Yeah, yeah. Yours. I was watching the WhatsApp. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's 9 o'clock in the evening. It's 9 p.m. 
Okay. All right. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning. It's eight a.m. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 9 a.m. All right. <laughs> I was on the bus. Okay. Uh -huh. 12 o'clock at night. Or it's a midnight. Yes. I thought you were going to say uh, it's it, it's uh, 12 p.m. Pero no cayó en la trampa. <laughs> Yo, it, it didn't fall. Nice. Continue, please, <laughs> Robles. Number four. Uh -huh. uh, it's three in the afternoon. Um, three o'clock. Or... Um, what now? 3 p.m., right? 3 p.m. Correct. Uh, okay, it, let's see. Five and six, uh, Eduardo, if you don't mind, sir. It's three in the morning. Yeah, correct. It's three in the morning or it's six. It's six in the afternoon. In the afternoon. And then, Raul, kill it, please. Kill it. Seven and eight. Uh, it's four in the afternoon. And? And, and number eight is yeah. noon. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's noon, right? Okay, we're good, right? Thank you. And that's why we say yeah. sharp, sharp. It's it's 12 sharp, right? And punto, por favor, sharp, like a sharpie. All right. So, bueno, hoy los dejo platicar, ¿verdad? Porque hay que darle tiempo a sus compañeros. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right, so see you around, gentlemen. Okay. Nice. Nice. Howdy. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, hello. Hello. All right, so Ana Yancy and then um, Miss Pimentel. I will start with, with you, uh, Rocio, with one, two, and three, and then Ana Yancy, four, five, and six. I will ask you what time is it, okay? Okay. All right, so let's yeah. go with the first one over here. So look at my screen, please. So what time is it here? It's uh, 2.20. Uh -huh. Oh. Or uh, 20 after 2. Yes, we can also say 20 past. We, or past 20 past. Is, yes, yes. Okay. I think that's that's even more common, you know, in the States. People say it's uh, 20 past and they don't really say after, but it's okay. Ah, okay. So the next one. So what time is it? Number two. Uh, uh, it's uh, 6.15 or uh, 10 to 7 o'clock yeah that's okay just we gotta be careful uh with if it's 50 50 uh, that's the number okay. right because the other one is 15 is 16 17 that's something okay else. right okay 650 50 yes yes 650. all right and then number three uh it's a it's a quarter it's a Quarter or uh, two night, or oh, uh, it's uh, eight forty-five. All right. Thank you. Now I'll mute your microphone. Now, thank you. And so, Anayansi. So, I'll mute your microphone, please. Number four. Okay. Okay. What time is it? What time is it? Mm -hmm. uh, 11 past 5. Yeah, you can say that. In the morning. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. 11.05. When you say uh, 11 or 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., until 9, you say O. Oh. Okay? And that's, that's the rule. That's the okay. rule. Okay, and this one, number 5, what time is it? Um, what time is it? Uh, after 16. Uh, I mean, you can say it's uh, 3.15 or the quarter or, or yeah, a quarter after three, okay? Or a quarter past, past three. What about this one, Anayansi? Uh, 40, no, four, 
four. Mm, thirty. Sorry. Thirty. Yes. All right. Thirty. Yeah, so you can say thirty past, or you can say four and a half. I'm sorry. Yeah. Half. Half past four. Half past four. You can say that too, right? Okay. Uh, let's do the next one, if you don't mind, please. Uh, so I'll start with you, uh, proceed. This one. So help me please with one, two, three, and number four. Uh, and then we start here. Okay, so it's nine o'clock in the evening. Okay, it's nine o'clock in the evening. It's 9 p.m. Okay, number two. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's 8 a.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. Um, it's the midnight. Yes, you got it. And it's three in the, it, sorry, I don't see that. Afternoon. It's three, uh, okay, I see. It's three in the afternoon, uh, it's 3 p.m. Yeah, correct. You know, it's good that you notice, you notice that 12 o'clock at night is midnight, right? Because it's midnight. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, so Anayansi, um, you have to say this in a different way, right? If it's a.m., you have to say in the afternoon. If it's p.m., I'm sorry, if it's a.m., you have to say in the morning. If it's a p.m., in the afternoon, and et cetera, et cetera. So, se pero se fue, verdad? She left. <laughs> All right. Because sí. I don't see her here. No, right. I understand. All right. But so in that case, let's go back to the main station. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, I think this was, uh, you know, a great practice. We still have time. Let's see, like one or two minutes. But, uh, you know, tomorrow we will continue with, or we will start with this listening, which is it's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. This is the first activity that uh, for tomorrow, not for today. And before you go, this one. ¿verdad? No los quiero confundir de nada, ¿verdad? Pero los quiero dejar pensando un poquito en estas preposiciones, right? In these prepositions over here. In one or two minutes, you know, that we are left, que nos quedan de esta clase, uh, I just need to introduce this to you. We have in, at, and on. I'm telling you because uh, this is necessary for you to know this. And because it's part of the platform, ¿verdad? Por dos razones. Por el conocimiento del inglés. And because you need to know this, porque lo tienen que saber. And because this is also part of the platform. Si hicieron la plataforma, you're going to, you know, tell me that I'm telling the truth over here. So, for a specific time, para horas específicas o tiempos, we use at, all right? For months, for example, if you say in January, uh, you can say, I have my vacations in January, but tengo mis vacaciones en enero. You can say, in January, Semana Santa es en, enero, es en uh, marzo, you can say. So the Holy Week is in, in late March, beginnings of, uh, of April, okay, etc. Para días de la semana, so days of the week, you say on Tuesday, no, I said in Tuesday, never. Para fechas, you know, 14 de febrero, right? So, February the 14th, on February the 14th. All I'm saying to you is, I'm sorry, uh, let me just go back, that tomorrow we will cover this. Ojalá no se pierdan la clase. We will cover these prepositions of time. There will be an exercise based on this. Okay, aquí le voy a mostrar esto. You know, this pyramid with Hours, you say at, days, you say on, in, you say weeks, right, etc., etc. And then you have the examples. 
And then we have some more uh, things and then we finish with the week, however. So there are a couple of things more that you should know. Esto si se usa lo in, at, and on. Okay, this is necessary for you to actually memorize it. Pero siempre hay como cosas claves, that like key points that you can use in order to memorize this, ¿verdad? Hay forma de aprenderse esto, ¿verdad? Con cosas personales, with personal information. You're gonna do this, right? So, and right now I'm gonna say goodbye, but le voy a mandar esta captura de pantalla. So I, I share with you this screenshot right now. De hecho, ahorita lo voy a hacer. And then I will send this to you, okay? So I'm saying goodbye. Thanks for joining the class. And I promise I'm sending this to you right away. Inmediatamente le voy a mandar esto. Si ustedes gustan, lo revisan. And tomorrow you, you, you can ask me questions and then you, you're going to be ready to practice. All right? All right. Okay. Thank you. And have a great night, everyone. Good night. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.